Hey guys, let's talk about rotations. Currently I'm in XYZ Euler mode and I have my orientation manipulator set to local. And that just means however I rotate my object, this manipulator here in the viewport will always be aligned with the object. So if I want to roll or I want to pitch or I want to yaw my gun, I can do that and it's always relative to the object. Now this local manipulator is just a representation. It gives you an easy way to rotate objects relative to their local space. If you want to rotate in world space, that's pretty easy as well. You can come up here and change it from local to global. And this manipulator will always be aligned with global space. No matter how you rotate the gun, it will stay exactly the same. So you can always rotate along the global Y axis, Z axis, or X axis. I'm going to quickly switch back from global to local. And I want to show you where some of the weird stuff starts happening. Let's say we're animating and we pitch the gun upwards. And then in our animation, we're wanting to rotate along this local Z axis. So we'll come up here to the Z axis and we'll drag it around, but it's not actually rotating along that blue circle in the viewport. It's rotating in world space and that doesn't really make sense. These values in the channel box are what's actually happening under the hood. What's worse is if we rotate this z-axis in the viewport, all three of the values in that channel box are changing, and that feels really weird. So let's change our manipulator to see what's going on. I'm going to come back up and change it from local to gimbal. So all our rotations use a gimbal system, which looks a little bit weird here, but once I explain it, it'll make sense. Each axis is ordered based on your settings here. So currently it's x, y, and z, but it could be something else depending on the dropdown. What that means is the X axis will follow the Y axis and the Y axis will follow the Z axis, kind of like a parent child relationship. So if I rotate this Y axis, you'll see the X will follow along with it. That means no matter what, however we animate, we'll always be able to roll the gun along the X axis, which is pretty handy. And now if we rotate the Z axis, the Y axis will follow. And because the X is following the Y that will follow as well. Now, because the Z axis is the last one in the chain, it's always going to be in a world space. You can also see that anytime we adjust this manipulator in the viewport, it'll perfectly line up with the axis in the channel box. See, we're rotating the X axis and only the X is changing. Same with the Y axis and the Z axis. Now this is what your keyframes in your animation are going to be affecting, not the fake local mode, which is just for posing. Now, if your gun is facing a different direction or you're wanting to keep one of the other axes as the one that's always aligned with the object, you can always change the rotation order, but I would recommend that you do this when you're setting up the scene rather than mid animation, which could mess things up. So we'll come up here to this drop down, and let's say we want it to be the Y axis following the X axis following the Z axis. So we can change that. Now let's rotate the X axis and you'll see that the Y is following it. So we can do whatever posing, however we want, and we'll always be able to pitch the gun along its local y-axis. In general, for first-person animation, I would probably recommend the roll following the pitch following the yaw. So if we go back to the XYZ, no matter how we pose the gun, we always are able to roll the gun, and then we can pitch the gun however we want. And finally, we can yaw the gun. And because we're always facing in one direction in first person, we're never going to be going too extreme. Because the camera is locked off, we're probably never going to be doing any crazy rotations, anything like facing straight up, which could result in gimbal lock. You can see two of the axes are aligned, which means we don't have this roll in world space. If we rotate both the Z axis or the X axis, it does the same exact thing. If you do plan on doing any posing where the gun is straight up, or you have some other kind of pose that results in gimbal lock, I would test that out while you're setting up the scene. And just make sure that you're using a rotation order that minimizes how much gimbal lock you run into. I'm going to pop on over into Maya. I've recreated the scene here, including the up axis being Z, same as Blender, just so I can show things off the exact same way. Right now, my rotate tool is in object mode. If you hold down E and left click, you can see a few of the different modes same as in Blender, we have World, which is the same as Global, Object, which is the same as Local, and our familiar Gimbal over here. So in Object Mode, you can rotate and pose however you want, and the manipulator stays aligned with it. If we change to World, we can now rotate however we want, 
and we'll always have the axes in world space for posing, which is nice and handy in certain cases. And finally, if we switch over to gimbal and we rotate this Y axis, you'll see the X follows along because we are in X, Y, Z as well. And if I come over to the attribute editor, come over to the locator, you can see in the transform attributes, we have our rotate order, which is X, Y, Z. And you can drop that down and change it as well. Say we want the Y, X, Z that we did in Blender. Now, if we rotate the X axis, the Y will follow. And we always have that pitch for the gun locally. I'm gonna change that back to X, Y, Z. I'm gonna set a key and go into the graph editor. And just show you that if I move this Y axis key, you'll see the X will follow along. We can animate the X however we want. And we can also animate the Z however we want. And it'll always line up with what you can see in the viewport with these axes in gimbal mode. If we change back to object, and we move the z-axis, nothing has changed under the hood. It's just the visualization of this manipulator which lets us pose. Hopefully now you have a better understanding of what's going on under the hood, so you can animate a little bit better now that you know the exact axes that are happening, and that this local or object mode is just for show and making posing a little bit easier. Happy animating!